hello it's your girl cg on trend and i am back today with a new video okay guys this video is going to be about my lovely shoe wall okay if you're new to my channel in good old texas fashion hey y'all and if you've been here before welcome back and next time bring a friend so we're gonna dive into the details because y'all i have been wanting to um create a shoe wall for a very long time and i just have not so when we moved into this apartment we um got a three bedroom and uh, one bedroom was going to be a guest room and then this room was actually going to be my workspace recording space whatever i wanted to be space right so then my daughter moved in um at the beginning of the year and so i had to like wait um to create my space i mean i still had stuff in here but it just wasn't as organized as i wanted it to be so i decided that when she went back to school that i was gonna build a shoe wall okay now i do need i will say i will need a bigger wall because so my next house there is going to be and we're going to put it into it. We're going we're gonna to claim it now. So my next house, our next house, we are going to get at least a five-bedroom. Just so that I can have a room. And if anybody just want to pop up, they can. Because I still have my own space of my own, right? So, that's the goal. Um, and we praying on it, baby. <laughs> we praying on it. Things are, things are working out um, for the good of those, okay? So, anyway, the wall is not as big as I thought it was. So, I will get into details and we'll do a little shoe uh, boot assessment. I'll show you guys three of the closets that I have because I have three closets. Um, actually, four, but the fourth closet only holds coats, like big coats. And it's Texas. We don't get that cold so it i might have two or three coats in there so i won't show you that one but i will go through the three closets that i do have um because i have shoes in every single one of them and i do want to get to a place where i have all of my shoes in one place but because it's fall baby these these boots about to get you know i can see them now now i know what i have now i know what i don't need to buy and now you know i can just pick the shoe of my choice so we're gonna get into that into this video i'm not gonna keep rambling though i'm gonna get started because i did create a shoe shelf on this side of the wall that you can't see um and then we'll go into the closet and then we'll go into my my main closet that has all of my clothing the majority of my clothing in it with some extra shoes in there too um that is a shared space so I will get into the details of the shared space um, when we get to that part of the video. All right, so to create this video, I mean, I'm sorry. To create these shelves, I use the Target 5 bookshelves. And I will insert a picture so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. It's the basic, what's that brand? Uh, essential, basic, basic essentials um, shelving, the 5K, 5 tier books. The five shelf bookcase okay i use that for the top sections because this is not all it goes all the way up to the ceiling and then the ones at the bottom right here these are the walmart mainstay three uh three shelf and i've already i had those already so what i did was just bought three bookcases three five tier bookcases and there's one here there's two here and then I bought the Basic Essentials Cubes. These are two cubes that I stacked on top of each other, and I'll get into the details of those um, when we take the tour. But yes, other than that, um, that was it. I got rid of so many shoe boxes. I was so glad because this closet was full of shoe boxes from boots, 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 boots. Got rid of some boots. As you saw in my last video, I ordered two pair of shoes. Well, I ended up getting rid of one pair of boots so that those boots can fit on the shelf and then the other the mule shoes i actually made room for so let's get into the video 
Okay, so you will hear me talking um, in the background. But to get started, um, here is the... I'm going to back up a little bit so that you can kind of get the main gist of the shoe walls that I created. So here's the main shoe wall that I'm using to record in front of. And then that is a little chair. I bought that chair at Ross because I needed something cute to sit on. And then here is the extra bookshelf that I bought. And then on top of that, we have a rack that I already had that I kind of just put on top of there that has all of my like pumps on it. Usually most of those are all pumps. And then we'll get up there. I think I can stand up there and we can go through that. But so to start in this shelving, these are, I don't really, I didn't really put an order to this, but I just kind of wanted to make it fit, right? So some of these shelves, some of the shelves that has like the taller boots, I was able to not use a shelf and actually put a put an additional shelf on this one because Target does not sell single shelves. That is only IKEA. So I started with these boots. And like I said, they're not in any particular order. Then I have my booties here. And then we start getting into like my work shoes, so to speak, or stilettos or pumps or things of that nature um, that I usually wear to work. Um, I don't know how high up I can go or that you can see, but it goes all the way up to the top. So that stool comes in handy because then I can climb on top and get to the shoes that I need to get to, right? Okay, so here's my little stool. It's like a little velvet top. And guys, here is the main shoe wall. So here we have some short boots. Those, remember the new boots that I showed you guys in the video? Um, the new little mules and then my little clunky boots from H&M. We have, you know, a lot of, a lot of short boots, y'all. All colors, every color you can think of. And in this center, I wanted to kind of do like my specialty boots or boots that were like my absolute fave. So I put those in all the centers. Like you see the chunky boots. You see my little patent leather boots. I have a brown and a black pair. I have some floral boots that I love with my printed cheetah print boots. And then I have these little cowboy-ish boots with a silver boot. My denim boots. Um, and then my snake print little booties. And then up here, I just have my, you know, Louis V boxes from my belt and my purse. And then some Givenchy glasses that I got for a gift. And a cute little painting, um, a Chanel bag painting that I think I got at Burlington's. But on this side, we'll start at the top. So here we have all of my like combat boots. So these are like my heeled combat boots. There's some Timberlands up there. There's some regular black ones. There's some just fab stuff. And those boots in the corner to the so you're right, I want to say. Those are just a pair of knee boots that have like a fur on the inside. Here are all my little dainty boots. All of these boots, I ain't going to say dainty, but these are all of my little out-of-the-box boots. These, All of these boots came from Shoe Dazzle at some point in time, except for the silver ones. I got those somewhere else, but they are Shoe Dazzle boots. So those are all Shoe Dazzle boots. Most of the majority of the boots on these shelves are from Shoe Dazzle, y'all, because y'all remember I had that membership that I canceled and now I got it back again. So this row has, you know, some... This row has like a lot of faux suede boots. This one has like a lot of thigh-high boots and they are kind of just rolled down. Um, more faux suede boots that are actually like rolled down. And then we have a more thigh high boots that are rolled down. Um, and then again, we have short boots here and then we have these. Okay. And then moving on to the other side, I have some of my patent boots up here, which I have a knee pair. I have a ankle boot and then I have a Another combat boot, but these are all flat combat boots. And then on this one, we get into my cowboy boots. Because, you know, I live in Texas, so you got to have a pair of cowboy boots. Um, these are my Cheyennes, which are amazing. Um, these are cost a pretty penny. 
and then these are just some other cowboy boots that i just got like randomly and then those are the new boots that you guys saw in the video i found a place for them y'all so here we have my white boots and i just have a like a little almond toe boot a pointy toe boot then i have the snake print and then i have just like a little combat boot it has a heel here are all my black boots um i have a thigh high a knee high another thigh high and then that's a thigh high too but it's velvet i didn't want to get rid of those then we have some brown short boots and we have some open toe boots black boots um anything else that would fit on this shelf that i didn't want to get rid of so yeah zooming back out here is what the shoe wall looks like so it looks like this when you walk into this space and again i love it so much i actually here's my tv but i actually added a picture here and then i have my little weekly goals thing here where i am supposed to be trying to keep up with posting and recording and things like that on the side wall if you watch my reels you've seen these two pictures they are from ross and then i just added the little love thing here but yes i am loving this so much so now we're gonna go into the closet okay so in here i do have all of my blazers here just some random little um belts and you know things of that nature um my dance bag for church and then i have my dresser in here that houses t-shirts tights workout stuff and here's the bag for all of my lighting i have this little stool in here which don't mind these little things i'm gonna put these on because they're comfortable my little nike slides in here i have additional purses because i also keep purses in this closet and then these are like all of my cardigans cardigans throw on stuff like pants that are like leather uh leather skirts things that i'm not wearing right now these are more wintery things other than sweaters so if i start at the bottom i have down here move my baton out of the way i have like you know just some little strappy all of my little strappy sandals my little mule slides on slide on sandals and these shelves are from ikea these are actually this is actually a tv stand that i've been having forever um that i used to keep all my shoes on i bought like so many of these things they used to be like 11 dollars. i think they went up now but this is how i used to house my shoes in my old closet um for my other house but i have that at the bottom and then just you know just some random little strappy sandals up here on the shelf i created it because at first there were clothes here um i moved these two shelves in here so i created three rows for all of my chunky sandals at the bottom these are all like platform sandals chunky sandals this row has more you know heel sandals you know because like i said i live in texas so we can wear these shoes all year round and then on the top row i have more of my higher heels that actually would not fit on the shelving so yeah and then y'all i'm gonna show y'all at the top but it's not organized like i want it to be i need to create a system for my purses but here they are so i have <sighs> lots of purses i have like all of my like envelope style purses and then it just goes on and on and on got my louis crunched up there all of my little you know little cute little bags that i got from different places some bags i haven't even carried yet but then like i said you saw in this little bin there's more purses in here as well um in this little container i have like some wintery things like gloves a little faux fur shawl thingy um this drawer contains like all the wallets like maybe some little, you know, little daintier purses, dressier purses, but more so wallets um, that I can put things in. And then this drawer has all of my fanny packs and miscellaneous type bags, um, but most so, more so fanny packs are in here. So, yes. 
But I'm glad that I have everything in one place, y'all, because it makes life so much easier. Um, This room, the bed, I'm not going to show y'all the bed because the bed has a lot of things on it because I'm preparing for some other, um, some other content. Now, we're going to go into the shared closet. As y'all can see, I have lighting everywhere. Y'all see my little softbox light? Maybe I'll do a video on, like, my lighting and the things that I use, but that'll be another day. But anyway, we're going to go into the closet that I use that I consider a shared space. Um, excuse me, because the lighting may not be that great in this closet. We got to figure out a lighting situation because um, I don't like the lighting in here. But let me cut the light on. And this is a closet that I share um, with Bay. And this is the biggest closet in the house. So therefore, his things are in here. And I've kind of organized his shoes. And I'll show you those as well, if you don't mind. And then um, I'll show you where I hold the rest of my shoes. <laughs> okay, so let me turn you guys around. Okay, so walking into this closet, I have done a cube system because his shoes are a lot bigger than mine. So we did the cube system in here. Sorry, this is my internet. Um, we did the cubing system in here and we, I cubed all of his shoes at the bottom, right? So that looked very, very neat. So there's not shoes scattered all over the floor. And then here are his clothes. Now we try to keep them color coordinated, but sometimes they get out of order. Then at the top, I had extra bookshelves that I used to keep all my shoes on. So we put the rest, the remainder of his sneakers and shoes at the top. Now, this section right here is a bit chaotic um, because he's gotten newer shoes and, yeah, we need to organize those. But down here at the bottom, I did have an extra bookshelf that I used to have boots on because there were boots in here, too. And I have since given him that shelf so he can use it for extra storage, right? So all of his clothes, let's just back up a little bit. So all of his clothes go on this side of the closet and then his jeans stop about right there, right? Let's point. His jeans stop about right here. So he has this and then this. And then everything else belongs to me. So I have all of my tops here along with all of my dresses here and then those are sweaters in the bins those are winter sweaters i have a little carry bag then all of my pants are here at the bottom with some shirts mingled in and then skirts over here and then at the bottom y'all don't worry about that that's a bag that is all of my wigs that i kept y'all know i'm bald now but sometimes a girl want to go back so that is just all of my wigs that I organized right here. On this shelf, we have a toolkit that he needs to get out of here. And then all of my sunglasses are in that shelving. But we're talking about shoes now. So if we go to the top, guys, I had two more of those shelves that I used for my shoes before changing over. And this is where I keep all of my sneakers. I am not a sneakerhead, but I do have a nice selection of sneakers um, that I wear when I want to put on a sneaker. So here are all of my sneakers here. And on this side, I use this extra one to create like my hat shelf. So here are all of my, my fedoras, my cowboy hat in the corner over there. And then there's another cowboy hat in a bag. And then I have my all my caps and and all kinds of hats and things in there. Um, and all my baseball caps and things like that. Okay. So, when you get down here, y'all, I had to put... Let me move this hanger. I had to put another shelf in here, guys. Um, I had this shelf when we did this closet. When we tried to organize the closet the first time, I had this shelf. And I was like, I'm going to put it in here for organization, which it came in handy because this is where I house all of my flats, ballet flats, anything flat goes in here. Like when I'm just ready to go to work and just slide on a flat, this is where 
it comes from. It comes from this shelf right here. So here, this shelf houses all of my flats, which is why I said I need to get all my shoes in one location so I can see where everything is. Okay, and then I'm standing in the back of the closet. So, ooh, y'all ignore my room. It's a little messy. I got clothes to fold. But um, here is the other five-tier bookshelf. If you know, I went with the black theme in here and the other shelves over there are white. I tried to keep it coordinated. Um, here's my other shelf of shoes. And these shoes, like, these are all of my flip-flops, sandals type shoes. Under here, these two boxes are my pageant shoes that I purchased for the pageant only. And I'm not going to open those. And then here are some, like, here are my, these are work shoes. Um, these are actually some pageant shoes that I've actually worn. So if you're watching this video and you know what shoes I'm wearing for the pageant for one of my outfits. But anyway, these are more of my, like, smaller heel shoes, like the little kitten heels that I wear to work sometimes. There's a few other little, like my little mules that I wear to work. Um, and then these shoes are some open toe heels that they just, this is just their home for now. Um, because I don't have space in the other closet. But here are some, here's some more denim little heels, some little printed open toe shoes. Most of these are open toes. And then you have like most of my little kitten heel work type shoes in here. Um, except for these are not kitten heels but i wear them quite often to work because they're comfortable and then we have these and then we have this i also wanted to show you guys remember i was telling y'all in my last video about how i store my glasses and like i have so many so here are the containers that i use for my glasses so there are one two three four five six of these containers that i have all of my glasses in these are all of the glasses that i wear you know, that are prescribed. Then I do have my little bin of glasses that are not prescribed that I wear, you know, just personality glasses. And I also have this other container on the back side of it. I think I just broke it. But I have this container as well that houses all of the glasses that are not prescribed as well. So this is another... Um, and I got this from Amazon. It houses nine pair of glasses. So these are all my glasses that are not prescribed. <clears throat> Along with these. These are not prescribed as well. And then all of the glasses inside of these containers are prescribed. And then the last thing I'll show you as part of my closet tour is my jewelry. How I house my jewelry. So guys, all of my necklaces are... Um, on these little racks these are curtain rods believe it or not i got them at walmart it was like the cheapest th cheapest they were like three dollars and then these are shower curtain hooks and i have them hooked on there so as you can see i have all my silver necklaces and then just kind of like statement jewelry that i kept i gave a lot of stuff away i really did um all of my statement jewelry that i kept pearls and then i have my gold accessories at the bottom my stackable necklaces a lot of them i just got y'all saw that and then some statement gold jewelry here and then this is these are actually belts from and this is a belt actually too um but yes here's how i store my jewelry so now i know when i walk out the closet what kind of shirt i'm wearing i know what type of necklace to get and then on the back of the door i have all of my belts so, I pretty much have the whole closet except for one side. <laughs> now, if I had the whole closet, yeah, then I could really do some things up in here. But I do not. I just have that whole bottom row, the row that's in the corner, and then half of the top, and then all of the top. And then, oh, I didn't even see. So, in these little containers, girl, what's it? Oh, well, there's nothing in that one. So I can use that to source some stuff. And then in this one, oh, I'm sorry. This one, oh, these are winter hats. Like all of my Tams and like fuzzy little hats that are, you know, more so wintery hats. I have them in here. Okay, so that one is empty. But it just looked good up there. So I just left them up there really neat. And those used to go in in these cubes that Bay now uses for his closet. I think I had them 
some sort of decoration at some point in time. But yeah. So, I hope you have enjoyed my closet tour. I hope if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. If you want to know um, anything about any of the shelving, like I said, I have some B-roll of the shelving that I use um, just so that I'm, I'm exact and I don't give you the wrong names of stuff. I have that in the description box. And I will link them um, from the Target website. I'll go ahead and link them for you. But other than that, y'all, this is it. This is my shoe wall and all of have my closet tour and like, you know, boots. If you want to see me style some boots or how would you style certain things that you may have saw or picked up in the video, let me know down in the comment section. I will try to get a video uh, going for that. But if you liked it, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and follow me over on Instagram at CG on Trend. Next time, bring a friend, okay? Tell them what I got going on over here, y'all, because it's good. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.